Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. I'm down here at the sheep barn, so I got a bunch of hecklers in the background here. So, we done a video the other day on setting up our farrowing pasture for our group of gilts that are um, set to start farrowing here in about seven days. So, I want to go down today. We're going to take a look at the uh, first do mama, see how she's doing. Thinking about maybe doing a couple of day series, following her progression, kind of watching how she does and documenting the changes in her um, as she's getting ready to uh, give birth. So, come along with us. Let's go check on her. Let's talk about um, Lamb Chop, our baby lamb. Uh, we posted the shorts video on that the other day. Let's talk about her. Got a couple of new bottle babies up at the house. We'll go take a look at them too. But uh, hang out with us for a little while and uh, let's check on um, Mama to be and some new babies we got. So stick around with us. So a week ago, we done a short video um, showing a bottle baby lamb that we had here on the farm. And that bottle baby came from this ewe. And this ewe had had a terrible problem with prolapsing her vagina. And so we had put her in a prolapse uh, sling and I'll see if I got some footage of that. We'd put her in a prolapse sling to keep that, keep it in and keep it from continuing to fall out. And she ended up giving birth through that, uh, through that prolapse harness. And so this is one of the babies that she had had. We came down on Saturday morning, doing morning chores, just normal check. This baby was on mama and nursing, seemed to be doing okay. But there was another baby that we found outside of the barn that had wandered off and had gotten away from mom so we picked that baby up put her back on mom tried to get it to nurse and mom just kept headbutting it rejecting it wouldn't have anything to do with it so we ended up taking that lamb to the house um stayed in the house in a diaper bottle fed etc so now we're faced with this <laughs> trying to get this baby lamb reintroduced back to watch out angel back to the group so Sandra's out here with it we put it in the barn stall for a little while just kind of left it and uh, Sandra came out to check and as you can see it thinks that she's mom and that she's hanging out with with mama but this is our bottle baby lamb that we're trying to get reintroduced back to the flock All right, we're back down here with our gilts and just checking in on everybody. Got our paddock set up, drink her over here. Got our rolls of hay down here, feeders in place. So let's see if we can get first do mama down here. Check on her and see how she's doing. Looks like she's up, eating a little bit. There's any feed left in the bowl we fed them this morning so this is first due mama she is due in seven days according to the calendar um she has for the past couple days she's been sort of steering clear of the rest of the rest of the herd kind of nesting well not really nesting but just kind of staying off to herself not really engaging with anybody um she is really, really round in the belly. Teats are hanging super low now. Got a lot of swelling uh, and engorgement of her vulva back there. We checked this morning and we could express, hey baby, how you doing? Oh man, she is tight. We could express just a little bit of milk. We could express just a little bit of milk this morning out of her teats, but not tonight. So that is typically a sign whenever you can express milk. And this morning it was just a single drop on the end of the teat. Um, when you can express milk, they're typically within about 24 hours of farrowing. So she's still a little ways away, but we're going to just continue to document how she does on a day-to-day -day basis to just kind of show that progression as we're getting close to uh as we're getting close to farrowing time but slow to get up slow to get down 
she's still friendly gentle all that kind of thing so first do mama first time around um her mother is typically two or three days late she's typically 117 118 days gestation when she carries so be interesting to see how this old girl uh yeah she's having trouble getting up and down be interesting to see how uh how long she carries thinking that one of these red girls is next after her I think it's this young lady right here is the next one due after that one so and she's got a lot of maturing of her teats as well but she's not you can see the, the difference here see she's not bagging up she's not got that roundness to her uh, to her teats to her breasts to whereas our first up due down here so they're really starting to take on a rounded appearance under there so all right so there we are first do a couple days we'll see what happens let's go to the house and look at some baby goats all right so this is your deal <laughs> you get to introduce. Uh, well, hey, everybody. This is Dr. Alan Sherry at the Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. <laughs> You're such a nice. Uh, and so Jamie and Sarah from Seven Stand Farm came to see us last night. And they brought us a couple of little baby goat boys. And this is Fred. And this is Barney. Say hey, boys. So these are my tonics um feigning goats um and jamie was telling us that there's different levels of their faintiness, faintiness <laughs> i guess and that these guys come from a line mm. that is not very um they they don't they don't fall over very much so mm. um both of these are boys they're both intact males so they've not been castrated um, not decided what we're going to do on that. We're thinking maybe Fred may end up staying My intact goodness. and we may actually breed him later on. We'll see. Um, beautiful color on both of these. They're both very friendly. Um, they're in diapers and they're being bottle fed. They are in the house. Um, we got them sleeping in a, uh, got them sleeping in a animal crate there. So that's where they're staying at night. Slept really well last night. Everybody was quiet and uh, they're just full of energy so we love having them in the house in there they'll eventually go back to the barn pretty soon they won't be here for very long but uh while they're up here we're gonna have fun with them good looking boys you want to try this again come on so we're going to continue do to document that uh pregnant guilt down there and see how long she goes uh, like i say by the calendar she is seven days away from um, giving birth. Leave me a comment down below how many days you think she's away from actually giving birth. By the calendar, it's seven. I'm thinking she's probably about four. Just by the way she's acting. I just got a feeling the way she's acting, she's probably going to go early. But leave me a comment down below um, when you think she's uh, when you think she's going to go from today. So and we'll see we'll see how close everybody is. Baby goats, man, Jamie. I'm gonna get him for this one. Him and Sondra worked that deal. Now we got these baby goats in the house. We got lamb chopped down here. We're getting her kind of separated out. There's all kinds of stuff going on on this farm. Um, spring is coming. It's warmed up. We've had a couple of just a really nice week of weather here. And uh, things are getting green. Time to get really serious on the garden. Lots of stuff going on. I'm gonna post a link to a couple other videos over here. Some other stuff that's happening around here. If you've not hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Follow along with us. We appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.